So when it comes to Genshin, I'm a PC gamer. I spend a lot of time in the Abyss, I showcase characters, make guides, and so on. But what if this time I get to play on mobile and suffer? You see, in today's video, I want to show you my struggles when trying to perform the most simple tasks, because I almost never play on my phone. But now is the perfect time to learn from my mistakes, because I am going to be training for Samsung Galaxy Battles Genshin Impact Grand Finals, together with three other content creators, Zajef, Brad Online, and Volti. Now the goal is pretty simple here, all of us get a limited amount of time and I need to obtain as many points as possible by completing these missions that pop up and the player who obtains the most points gets to bring a scoring multiplier to the grand finals where I will also be streaming for the first time. So let's watch the footage of my training because today, unfortunately, we get to point and laugh at me. I will be doing a lot of voiceover and you'll notice my voice is different in the footage because, well, I'm not acting as a YouTuber there, but just a low energy dude who is super nervous when streaming. Anyway, let's just start watching. What is this? What is that? I have... What is happening? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> okay, so after my Farina stopped freaking out, we finally got our first mission to do, and it was to kill a world boss. And before I could even do anything, so Jeff already did it. You see, some missions can only be completed for a limited amount of times. And in this case, only the first person who kills the world boss gets to score it. So now there's four more new missions that pop up. And trust me, this is where I really start to struggle. And I think you're gonna love this. But real quick, before we continue with my struggles, this video is sponsored by Samsung Galaxy. And it's only thanks to them that I get to participate in this cool event. As you've noticed, I'm using the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra phone. And it's got an amazing Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor with a two times larger vapor chamber cooling system system that allows for low temps and high performance on the highest settings. On top of that, the QHD Plus display is absolutely gorgeous, and you can set the brightness up to 2600 nits. And of course, the 200 megapixels high resolution camera is just a cherry on top when I want to take extremely detailed photos. Also, besides playing Genshin on this phone, I've been utilizing some of the great features, like Note Assist with Galaxy AI, to help me organize my notes by summarizing, formatting, and even translating them. So level up your gameplay, make sure to learn more about the new Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, and purchase it by using my link in the description description. And remember to tune in to Samsung US Twitch, YouTube and Facebook channels on April 21st, 12pm PST for the Samsung Galaxy Battles Genshin Impact Grand Finals, where you can also win awesome prizes by just watching the live stream. Now, let me ask you a question. Which mission would you go for? Would you go and collect 20k Mora, say hi to Catherine, climb the dragon spine or just do some flower farming? Yeah, I went to climb the dragon spine. This is going to be a recurring trend with me. I'm gonna pick the most stupid missions. And in this case, climbing the dragon spine for me was a struggle on mobile. God, why did I pick the hardest challenge? Same. What am I doing? Uh, can we just be friends and... <laughs> do <the challenges> together? <laughs> if there was no money on the line, I would agree, but sadly. <laughs> that's true, that's that true. That is true. I'm using Scaramouche and I'm not using his flight ability. Just manually climbing everything. I don't even know what am I supposed to do here. Okay, well, now that I showed it, now I know where I need to go. <sighs> no, I didn't. I literally activated the animal pillar and I ignored that on the right side there's a air current that goes up. But instead, I decided to go towards those floating pillars. And I struggled, I fell, and then finally I realized that I activate those air currents right there. And with little time left before the mission is over, I finally reached the top of Dragon Spine. Now, the next mission I picked required me to speedrun a domain in 30 seconds. And you might not see these specific requirements, because when I was playing, I also had another tab open on my PC, which provided the concise details of the mission. So if needed, I will also show them on the screen here. But yeah, pretty simple, right? Just do a domain under 30 seconds. I'm a whale, I spend money to obtain every character, I have some good gear. Surely this is gonna be easy. Well, look at this. I literally <laughs> just try to speedrun the domain with artifactless Raiden. What am I doing? <laughs> That's not gonna help, no. Well, at least Zajif is having a great time, right? Anyway, this time I just focused on my Nouvellet's raw damage and I quickly cleared the domain. Now, the next mission I picked required me to catch a mechanical fish. And this is the first time I actually know what I'm doing, but I still struggled a little. That's great because I just did some fishing recently. I know where there's places. If I could just press the button to get there. Oh my god. Why can't you okay. start fishing, Nouvellet? Oh my god, does this count? I got the unique one, the mechanical fish, but it's unique. Does it count? I mean, I think that'll count. 
So yeah, I caught a mechanical fish, but not the regular one. It's the one you can put in your serenity pot. Still, the tournament organizers didn't have a problem with this, so let's continue with the next mission. Now, I just need to shoot a flying bird and collect its resources. Oh my god, I see one bird, and guess who has C1 Venti? Man, dude, I'm actually getting whale checked right now. No! I killed a bird, but I don't know where the food landed. Where are all the flying yeah. birds? Oh my I'm god. Tell me Man. about it. I killed one, but the food disappeared somewhere in the abyss or somewhere. I don't know. So yeah, I thought I was a smart cookie because I know there's some flying birds in Liyue. But the problem is that when I killed the bird, the food just disappeared somewhere. And before I know it, the time ran out for the challenge and I was not even able to complete it. So I just wasted my time. The sniper is over? Oh my god, I just wasted my time doing this. Yes, you did, Gotcha Gamer. Yes, you did. Anyway, continuing my tradition of picking the worst possible challenges I can do, this time around, I decided to ice bridge across the Cider Lake in Mondstadt. Now, it took a really long time, and here are some funny snippets from it. An ice bridge, or can you also, like, water walk us uh, with? <laughs> hey, listen, I don't have Ayaka, so you guys better not be cheating. Ayaka? Okay? Ayaka no, wouldn't, I wouldn't survive the whole... <laughs> Dude, if I mess up this Risley Ice Bridge, I'm gonna go crazy. Can I even do this in five minutes? <laughs> do what? Ice Bridge with <laughs> the Risley. <laughs> Why am I picking the most stupid challenges? Yeah, I feel that. I I'm starting to think the same thing. There's no way I'm Ice Bridging across the side of the lake at this time. But maybe I could convince you otherwise. Maybe try, you know? <laughs> Only four yeah. minutes left. Ain't no way. I mean, I'm almost there, to be honest. Oh my god, now we have to like Bro. Ice Bridge around the docks. Are they... Okay, finally. And so, after completing the Ice Bridge Challenge, I was feeling pretty confident about myself. And also, this next mission was super easy. Just take a picture with your favorite character. And mine's obviously is Albedo, but there was a bit of slander going towards my boy. And getting caught in the heat, I also said some things I really regret. Well, just for you, I'm gonna take a picture to remind you that Albedo is the best Geo unit. Oh, I didn't deny that, but that's Is he though? <laughs> well, meta-wise, obviously, yes. Mm, right, looks, looks wise, not really. Look at his beady little like eyes. There we go. Please don't be mad at me, Albedo, please. And you're the strongest character meta-wise and looks wise. I was just under peer pressure, okay? So please call me when you can, okay? Anyway, so with the drama out of the way, I promised the guys that I will get better for the championship. Obviously, they're my opponents, but I don't want to disappoint my future teammates. And so I decided to visit Mondstadt for a little moment. And before this cha championship, <laughs> I promise I give a pledge of uh, 50 Mora that I w Oh my god, I just entered a quest. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Why did this happen to me? You know why this happened. I shouldn't have said anything bad about Albedo. But the event that interrupted me was the Cat Cafe event. And partially, I also blame you for this. Okay, I can't be mad at you. Now, the next mission required me to just complete three leyline deposits, but this required me to spend 60 resin, and I would really prefer to just spend that resin on artifacts and get defense or HP substats and cry about it. Guys, can we agree if we make video titles, can I reserve the title, am I the worst Genshin player? Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Anyway, with my misery out of the way, only a few missions remained. I picked a simple one where I just need to ride an elevator in Vangshu Inn. Then there was another challenge where you had to look for an axe somewhere in Guli Plains. I literally had no idea where it is. Oh my oh god. god, I thought I found I it. I found a tree stump, does it count? <laughs> is there an axe in it? If it has an axe No, in but it. I remember this part of the quest where you were supposed to like take pictures for this artist. Yeah, okay, good for you. Anyway, there was only one challenge left, so we had to build a party of four characters and do a domain with just a healer, and there's no swapping allowed. Now, I picked Farina, but the way I interpreted this mission would be that she have to use her healing mode. So this means the only serious damage she can do is from the burst, while the rest of it is coming from her normal attacks. And this took a while to do it. Dude, I officially hate the fire Fatui. He's so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're not wrong. Anyway, with the last mission out of the way, now it's time to count the scores. And you know what? After all my struggling, I actually ended up in the fourth place. Yeah, what a surprise. Like half the time I just made Zajef laugh. And I'm sorry to think I gave him a buff because he performed so well here, he almost scored double the points I had. But yeah, 
I seriously have a newfound respect for mobile players. And you know, the grand finals are coming up, so even before editing this video, I did spend a lot of time just playing on the phone, because I really need to make sure I bring my A game to the grand finals. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. I mean, look, I have no problems laughing at myself. And honestly, I had a really great time here. So if you guys want to come support me, I will be streaming for the first time. And the grand finals will be happening on April 21st, 12 p.m. PST. And yeah, thanks again to Samsung Galaxy for sponsoring today's video. And hence, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me struggle. As always, if you can, make sure to subscribe to my channel and press the like button on this video. And see you at the grand finals.